Now let's visit the winner of this year's Kentucky Farm Bureau's Outstanding Young Farm Family Competition. We're managing uh, about 1,900 acres of land. We have 100 acres of, of barley tobacco, corn, uh, wheat, soybean rotation. We also have 100 acres of alfalfa, and uh, we have a fall calving cow herd on the land not suitable for crops. We also have a repair business, which we've got uh, 13 years in that business is working on the farm equipment. I think about what the most proud of is, there, is our, our cow herd. It's, it took us 10 years to, to build a, a commercial cow herd where we're, we're calving in, in 45 days uh, in, the, in the fall. We really enjoy uh, working with the cows as a family. With uh, Karen and, and the kids, we, we get to, to be together uh, on that without a lot of outside labor. I grew up on a dairy farm and uh, I think it helped me gain a lot of, a lot of common sense and, and helped me to, uh, to, to learn my mechanical abilities and, and uh, my boy, uh, three years old, he can already uh, open gates and, uh, and, and knows what's going on, I think. Most of the time we usually try to spend our afternoons, um, whether it's doing something on the farm, but most off I try to maintain and do all the billing and payroll for the H2A workers and the shop employees. But Brad works a lot of late hours and long, long nights, so we usually take meals to the field just to, for the kids to see him and spend together time with the family. We're raising uh, hay for show horses. We got some pure alfalfa and we got uh, alfalfa with orchard grass mix. We're using some Timothy in the rotation with uh, after tobacco, but uh, we're real excited about that. Hopefully uh, as the economy gets better, uh, the show horses will uh, need more hay. With the hay in the south, they have trouble with a colic. And uh, the hay in Kentucky we have this sandy ground that the alfalfa that seems to like, and uh, they're not able to produce that forage in the in the Florida and Georgia area like we can here. Farm Bureau has played an active role in our farming operation. Um, as a young child, I was involved in various speaking act, um, contests, and today we are, um, Brad and I are involved in our local Farm Bureau and on the county board, and we serve on um, several committees there, as well as attend uh, several district and state meetings and leadership conferences. Um, we are very um, blessed to be a part of Young Farmers, where we have attended the outings and the leadership conferences, as well as the beef tours. This has allowed us to network with other young farm families across the state and the nation, and develop those long-lasting friendships that we can um, always cherish. Um, so we're very proud that we can be a part of an organization like Farm Bureau that's a voice for agriculture as well as um, on legislative issues, but something that we can gain leadership and continue to um, bring those leadership and knowledge back to our farming operation. Well, that's it for this week's Kentucky Farm Bureau's Bluegrass and Backroads. If you want more information on anything you might have seen today, visit us at bluegrassandbackroads.com and, of course, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you'd like to check out some of the places that have appeared on the show, you have your chance now with Bluegrass and Backroads tours coming up this fall. Thanks for watching. God bless. Hey, you didn't sneeze once today. I know, I know. Hey. <laughs>